हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द बेसिक्स ऑफ ज्योग्राफी सीरीज एंड दिस इज अवर आई एस कॉन्क्लेव इंस्टीट्यूट विच प्रोवाइड यू फ्री एज वेल एज प्रीमियम वीडियोस एंड फॉर दैट यू हैव टू बी सब्सक्राइब अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम रोहित मंडान एंड दिस इज अवर इनिशिएटिव ज्योग्राफी इनक्यूबेशन सीरीज फॉर द सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन एंड स्पेशली फॉर दो स्टूडेंट हु लैक कमांड ऑन द बेसिक्स ऑफ जोग्राफी हु लैक द फंडामेंटल ऑन जोग्राफी एंड वी आर हेयर टू हेल्प यू सो दैट यू कैन बिल्ड योर कंसेप्ट स्ट्रॉन्ग होल्ड ऑन द जोग्राफी तो इन दिस मैटर मिनरल सीरीज वी हैव कवर वट आर मिनरल्स हाउ मिनरल्स एंड रॉक डिफर फ्रॉम इच अदर and uh, the classification of the minerals like silicate and non silicate minerals so in this session we are looking at the silicate we already have covered the silicate structure now we will cover the common silicate minerals common silicate minerals so common in so common silicate minerals you look at the there are two types of the common silicate minerals the light the light silicate and dark silicate this classification is basically uh, based on the presence of the iron and magnesium this is basically on the like for example i give you an example for example quartz which is pure silica sio2 it is very light color light color and very light in weight weight also so this is has in a very light color also in weight there are this is also very light but if you look at the olivine this is iron magnesium with sio4 okay so with the presence of the iron and magnesium that means ferro magnesium silicate structures these are very dark in color and heavy and very dense so this constitute of our oceanic crust and quartz is constitute of our continental crust so this is how we can compare so we can understand this session through our question session compare and contrast the light light means non ferromagnesium silicate with the dark ferromagnesium dark ferromagnesium silicate and list the three common minerals to each group okay so in this session we will cover the non ferromagnesium and in the next session we will cover ferromagnesium silicate now look at the light silicates so what are light silicate minerals the light silicate minerals are non ferromagnesium that means they are very light they are very they have a very specific gravity of about 2.7 that means you have noticed that our continental crust our continental crust have a density of around 2.8 because our continental crust composed of mainly of the light silicate minerals like feldspar like feldspar and quartz and both of these are of the group of the light silicate minerals now these differences are mainly attributed to the presence of the iron and magnesium because iron and magnesium if you look at the chemical tables you will find that these are very heavier so these are have the very you know because they are metallic and they have enough iron and magnesium which are highly heavier but jo uh, silicate minerals honge they compose of the potassium sodium aluminum and calcium metal ions okay now look at the feldspar group because in, in this session we will cover the light silicate minerals the one is feldspar group the second one is quartz and third one is muscovite okay so in feldspar group we will find the two types of the feldspar potassium feldspar and plagioclase plagioclase feldspar so they they have a very two types but they have a very variety of the feldspar group because they form the crystallize under the various range of the temperature and pressure various range of the temperature and pressure so they have two planes of cleavage at 90 degree so they have a two clay two planes of the cleavage okay and x and y axis on x and y axis so they have a potassium feldspar and plagioclase feldspar and they have a luster luster means the appearance how they appear and how they behave with the light so they have a glassy to pearly because we have also covered the these minerals properties so you can refer our youtube channel for these properties okay 
Now look at the if you look at the potassium feldspar, potassium feldspar basically is usually light cream, so lemon pink, and occasionally blue green in color. So potassium feldspar has a different color to the plagioclase feldspar. Like uh, this is the potassium feldspar. So this has a very light color. Okay. So here you will notice that ki these are the two angles of the uh, cleavage, which are at 90 degree angle. Okay. The two planes at the 90 degree. So potassium feldspar crystal, you can see this is the crystal and this is showing the cleavage. So here you will find the, there is, you will find potassium. Now in the plagioclase feldspar, you will find this sodium and pot, uh, sorry, sodium and calcium. So you will find this sodium and calcium ion with the silicate minerals, while in the potassium, you will find the potassium ions. Okay. So in sodium rich plagioclase feldspar like albit. Okay. And plagioclase feldspar showing the station. We do a station on the basis of the station, we can differentiate between the potassium and plagioclase feldspar. So what are the station? A station are these lines on the plane of on the plane of cleavage. On the plane of cleavage. So on the basis of the plane of cleavage, that is the station we can differentiate between the potassium and plagioclase feldspar. Now look at the quartz. This is the second group under the non-silicate minerals and very important minerals because it constitutes more major part of our continental crust and because if we know the properties of the crust we can know the properties of the our continental crust which will be very beneficial in the when we will study the geomorphology in geomorphology plate tectonic especially so quartz silicate minerals because it is a form of the silicate and pure silica this is pure silica so it is form of the pure silica here oxygen and silica ratio will find two is to one okay so the only common silicate mineral that consists entirely of the silicon and oxygen in quartz, you will find there is a three-dimensional frameworks and there is no bonding with other uh, metal lines and with no bonding. Nahi hai. That's why it is very hard. It is very hard. No cleavage. No cleavage is so. If there is no cleavage, when you will break the uh, quartz, you will find the conchoidal fractures. Conchoidal fractures like this. This is the lining and this figure shows you the conchoidal fractures because these are very hard and they are very resistant to the weathering because there is no plane of weak zone. Why there is no plane of weak zone? Because silica, the quad, the quad is made of the pure silica and there is no metal and you will find the bondings. So there is no bond. All the oxygen ions are shared with the oxygen. Oh, no, sorry, all the oxygen are shared with the silicon. So silicon ke saath share hai, that's why these were very hard and they are very resistant to the weathering. Okay, so be, but based on the uh, additional impurities, based on the additional impurities, they have various types of the uh, quartz based on their color like milky, smoky, pink, rocky and purple like presence of the iron, magnesium, aluminium, titanium. Okay, now look at the third one. This is third one, muscovite. Muscovite is a common member of the mica family and this form a very sit structure. If this has a sit structure, that means and one plane of one plane of one plane of cleavage. This has a one plane of cleavage like other mica. Muscovite has an excellent cleavage or if you look at the cleavage. So excellent example of the cleavage is shown by the muscovite or mica. In one direction, because muscovite is very shiny, it can often be identified by their sparkle. It gives to the rock, and because of their shiny natures, they were in the Middle Ages, in the medieval times, they were used as in the window glass. As in a window glass, mica flakes you will find at the beach because they are very shiny. So whenever you visit the beach, like Goa or other South Indian beach or other uh, European countries, which you will find the mica flakes. These mica flakes on the beach were of the muscovite's mineral. So this is how you can cover your muscovite. So there you will find the because they have a set of structures and set of structures they have a one plane of one plane of cleavage. 
they have one plane of the cleavage. So in in the next session we will cover the ferromagnetism with dark silicate minerals. So if you like such videos, please subscribe, like, and share our videos on YouTube. Thank you guys.